podcast. Hello. Oh my gosh. So that whole thing, like nobody heard anything I was saying. Right? I went through this whole spiel during the music and everything. And I don't think my microphone was set up properly. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, I suppose I'll recap. Hi, folks. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> Number one, my touch portal is not actually telling me how many viewers I have. The Twitch, Twitch dashboard itself keeps fluctuating between like four and six viewers, so I don't know how many of you out there are even hearing this now. Um, but some things have changed behind the stream, behind the scenes on the stream. Um, we have new emotes, we have follower emotes now, we have a couple of animated emotes now, a couple of new ones. Um, we have a tier two emote now. Um, so that's fun. You can get emotes from my channel without even having to subscribe to me. You can just follow the channel and you get free emotes. I wasn't entirely sure what to put in the follower emotes, so I don't know. They're kind of they're generic and weird. And I kind of like the one where Mario's crouching. Like, I think I genuinely did a good job on that. I like the way it looks. Um, we also have some new sound alerts. If you click the objects tab here we have two or three new ones um, like for example i played this one earlier it sounded kind of quiet to me i don't know how audible it is well, that's a that's a little it was, it was really quiet before um what else Oh, well, that's part of the problem. Hang on, folks. Melko Driggs tipped $10. Will confirm, the Mario Crouch came out very nicely. I'm gonna go back to the waiting room stream screen real quick. My touch portal, like part of the reason why it's not showing any viewers or anything for me. Um, is actually because Touch Portal updated and it didn't tell me until just now. I don't know if you can still hear the game or not. It doesn't look like you can, so I'm going to turn the music back up.
now that everything is finally working, I can see my viewer count in Touch Portal the way it should be. And we will switch back over to the video game. And now I will stream whatever is left of Final Fantasy VII Remake. It has been almost a year since the last time I touched this game. So, bare minimum, we are going to have probably like a warm-up period, let's say. <laughs> oh, look out. Gameplay recording is blocked, folks. Hopefully, like, the square, like, get bent out of shape on this kind of stuff. Well, this is where I left off. This is after the famous motor motorcycle chase, after you storm the Shinra building. It is playing Sephiroth's theme, I guess you'd call it. Those chosen by the planet. Is it our destiny to defy destiny? It's an interesting question. So if we go through that thing, there's no coming back. You can tell, like, the game is saying, like, hey... Cloud, we should go. This is the end of the game. Thank you, Cloud. And for context, like, I played the absolute crap. Oh. Yes, go back to the vending machine. I played the absolute crap out of the PS1 game. So to some degree... I know the plot of this game, you know, you can't really spoil parts of it, but obviously, you know, Remake is different. And to some degree, I even know what is different about Remake. I have no money. No, that's, I have 14,000. But I know some of what is different in this game, let's say. So I have, like, a vague idea of what's in that portal, but not a clear idea. That is why I figured I had at least one dungeon left, because I know that there is a new sequence inside of this portal that was not in the original game. I don't think I have to buy anything, right? I mean, these are just items. What else? We have plenty of materia. Um, Cloud could wear this. It's not very many slots. That kind of is, but it almost looks like what Cloud is already wearing. And it doesn't like change his stats at all. I don't think I need to mess with any of this stuff. the thing? Isn't there like an item that like gives you a free revive? Yeah, it's these. But then like that takes up like a slot, right? I don't think I want to take up a slot. So I guess we're just done. They're not even going to let me sleep on the bench? Yeah, there we go. Uh, oh, I just have Cloud, huh? I really have a lot of points to spend with people. Well, I do. I mean, gosh, look at this. I 
hate to like front load this with fiddling around in the menus, but I gotta re-familiarize myself with what's, what I'm doing, what I have on me. Looks like I have like one option with Barrett here. Do the buff expansion. But we're not gonna mess with any of these. Like maybe like I don't know. I'd have to rearrange his materia and everything. Just gonna leave everyone with what they have equipped. Purple pain core? Hmm. Interesting. I don't remember ever seeing these cores before. I mean, gosh, you have points everywhere else, but... Hey, let's go make a mistake! Ready? Well... Never tried to challenge destiny. This could well be her last line of defense. It won't be easy. off the final boss after mm. 10 months of my play. Wouldn't be the first time I spit in Destiny's eye. Whether you can see the scenes or you can't, doesn't change that she's always trying to have it her way. Love this game. I put 100 hours into the PS1 Final Fantasy VII, and this game has blown me away with how faithful it is to that story. And like how respectful it is. In a way I I didn't expect <sighs> don't know about you but looks normal to me uh, over there
quite what I expected. a lot more like an arbiter of fate than the others. We can beat them. I'm sure this is going to be easy. <laughs> Bring it on!
An entity from a future timeline that has manifested in the present day. Fights with guns to protect the future that gave shape to it. It is immune to most everything. But it looks like it can be silent. Wait, I can target the main one? cinematic and all, but like, what am I doing? <laughs> Did I just see a glimpse of tomorrow? We fail you today. Damn it! 
How do we stop these things? Well, the big one is way over there. However, these guys are right here. <laughs> That's your logic. <laughs> We are the future. <gasps> the future is always a blank page. Uh, them again! Least they can do is give us a little breather. I say we split up. Take them down at the same time. In that case, Ultra Big Boy is all mine! <clears throat> Right. We 
can do this together. My turn? Changed my microphone setup a little bit. That should be. What happens if I just crank it all the way up? That's probably too low. We'll do like 20. There I am. But I changed some of my setup. I got a new adapter for my headset. How much for everything? No, there's not. Let's finish this! Oh, you he's done. <laughs> Whoops. Another whiff. I'm just getting started. Go on! Not for spells. Maybe this'll do the trick. <laughs> Who's the lowest? Give me your best shot. I feel like Tifa has a very specific um like you can do I've seen like combo videos with her where you can do pretty amazing things if you know how to use her. And I haven't played this since April of last year, so... I didn't 
think I was doing too bad, but now all of a sudden the game is kind of cranking the heat up on me a little bit. Seems like it'd be pretty hard to mess this up. Next to respawn. What did I just say? Yeah. She's almost got a limit break. Baby Blizzard. Is he dead? Do I have to like drain his stagger meter? That's that. Probably don't, right? I'm gonna like focus on this one instead. Oh no, he got back up. How about you like oh you don't have like stronger blizzard? You mind? Right, yeah, no, that's why it's that's why it's like showing him. It's like, hey, they're connected. Oh no, I'm sure nothing bad was happening there. Did we beat him? I think so. Mm-hmm. I suppose like 
the other ones didn't spawn, right? Right. Go on. Stop it. place from Advent Children? Was that in like the original Final Fantasy 7? I don't remember. That just looked like a scene from Advent Children. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna shoot a blizzard at you. How about you? Can you like... Do one of these, Adam. Okay. Hey, hey Barrett, could you like me join the party real something? quick? I'm sure nothing bad will happen from us, like, completely altering the future. Where are we? I'm waiting, Cloud. <gasps> What the hell is this? This is... Here. Almost like those robed ghosts were trying to save us. They've really like cranked up Cloud's abilities in this last little bit. And you. What does that mean? I guess we're gonna find Let's out. This. Unless Yes? Yes, okay. Just the it already refilled me on everything, so I think I'm good. That's just if I wanted to, like, not to be taken change lightly. weapons or anything. Shut up! No, you! How about... Wait, I don't have an ATP meter. Now we do it. Come on. Hmm. 
really tried to roll out of that. Probably use this like as an opportunity to heal. The planet will claim you. The weapons within. Beg for forgiveness. Hang on. <laughs> right in time. Maybe I should just be guarding more. Yeah, sure. Get ready. Hmm. <sighs> I can't just spam counter stance, can I? Here it comes. down like halfway didn't I <laughs> did he heal maybe I just wasn't paying attention Okay, you need... Maybe you need better? Really? But I have been sitting on all these throwables. Wait a minute, that's probably a bad thing. I could poison Sephiroth, right? Let's finish this. I won't. 
Deal with that. I got gotcha. you. It's kind of interesting how, like, he seems to target whoever I'm controlling. I mean, I suppose that's just like the video game, right? Does it on both of them? Doesn't it? Let's do this. There it is. That's not the gun Barrett has. Let's go. My Barrett doesn't have a gun. Ride for me. Don't overdo it. Eric can just tank everything. everyone else too, huh? Instead of them just kind of watching Barret wail on Sephiroth. Shiva? Good enough. This right here is the power. He probably stand the center of the world. But I doubt he has any weaknesses. As is the final boss style. Yeah, unable to read. Well he does have Wind? Like, what is that? What does that mean? He absorbs lightning. What the heck? Is that poison? Probably poison, right? Wind. Well, I don't have any wind. I think I do. No, I do. I have arrow on. Tifa? Some air, Sephiroth. Go for it, Barrett.
Just keep fueling Barret's rage. Double limit break. Get him up. Shake it off, okay? I got this. <laughs> Darkness falls. Come on. Not my boy. Gotta be careful. Wish there was a way to do this on everybody, but I don't think there is, right? Since we were all together, it's on you. Okay. okay. Yep, here you do. You're my cell. Take her away from me. It seems like a bad place to be. Wait a minute, what if we just put regen on Barret? Keep it together. Pray for me. I can't even do anything here, because I was going to throw something at him, but nobody has any ATV meter.
Aren't you supposed to be shirtless? Or is only the one true Sephiroth shirtless? Careful now. That which lies ahead does not yet exist. Our world will become a part of it one day. But I will not end. Nor will I have you end. This is... The edge of creation. <clears throat> Cloud, lend me your strength. Let us defy destiny together. This is so heterosexual. Never. No Omni Slash yet. Does he? Seven seconds till the end. Time enough for you, perhaps. But what will you do with it? Let's see. That's a wallpaper. Aww. <laughs> Damn you, Square Enix. Mr. Vice President. Mr. President. That's right. I am the President. Gosh, Palmer. <laughs> Looks like such a dingus in this. <laughs> Love it. Sure, just walk through all the weird goo.
normal. Oh, okay. Like I said, I knew parts of this ending, but I had a completely different idea of the way it would have played out. Like, I knew this guy showed up. Well, I'm starting to wonder, like, full disclosure, if we're talking, like, you know, two completely separate timelines, and maybe they're merging and maybe they're not. I wonder if the implication might be, oh, hey, he lived. At least in this version of the world, he lived. Did he live in the original one? I, that's one thing I was never sure, like, if, if the avalanche guys survived after the plate fell. I never remembered that. But, like, it would, it would be interesting to me if, if they're saying two different timelines. If the compilation stuff was in one timeline, and then, like, the original game was in another timeline, and this is kind of how they... they smush them together, in a way, to reconcile how different the compilation games were. Tonally and everything else. Say, okay, we're gonna bring the original Final Fantasy VII characters into the compilation universe where they are different people. So, what now? Sephiroth. As long as he's still out there, I... I thought you beat him. We can. We will. Count me in. If it's to be a hunt, you could use a nose like mine. I'm in too! Bastard wants to destroy the whole planet, doesn't he? An enemy of hers is an enemy of Avalanche. Oh yeah. Uh-oh. DMCA. Okay. Um... Is this a memory, or is this... Almost there, Cloud. We're almost there. Okay, so it's kind of a memory, it's kind of not. I miss it. The steel sky. I would be alone. 
That was pretty cool. Not quite the bombastic ending I think I was hoping for, but still pretty cool. I mean, it is just part one of a longer story, so it makes sense. It was a good ass game. Now I get to sit in quiet sadness. Having no PS5 and no access to Rebirth. <laughs> Even if it comes to PC, I doubt I'll be able to run it. Nice to see Nobuo Uematsu in the credits of a Final Fantasy. I know he quit for a while because of health problems, and it always kind of worried me. I don't think he ever said what those health problems were. He just, it was just this vague, I have health problems, so I am stepping back. And you always assume the worst with that kind of stuff. But I assume he was also just working himself to death he was still handling a lot of music in these games. See what YouTube does to this. Assuming, like, I assume Twitch is gonna catch this song. The Square is pretty picky about music licensing. be nice if it didn't ding it. I know there have been things where I've expected to get a claim that didn't get claimed, so who knows. And like the thing is about Square and music licensing is they allow it as long as it's over gameplay footage. That's why all the Final Fantasy 14 songs on YouTube have like gameplay footage under them. They just, like, mute all the gameplay sounds, so it's just the song. But it's still, like, the boss fight or whatever playing underneath it. So they can technically claim that, oh, this is gameplay footage, it's not just the song! So the one thing I expected for this ending that I thought I heard, and apparently did not actually happen, I thought there was like a segment where we got to play as everyone as kids. Unless that was somewhere earlier in the game and I've just forgotten? I don't feel like I've forgotten though. Like I know there were like flashback cutscenes where we saw Young Cloud and Tifa. Yeah, I don't know. Like. I, the way I spoiled myself in this game, 
was I spoiled the ending on what happened, but I kind of also tried to avoid spoilers, and it, it kind of gave me a weird perspective of what I thought happened at the end of this game. Because <laughs> I wanted to know, but I didn't want to know at the same time. Ah... Uh. G bike. I completely forgot that they had a G bike mobile game for a hot minute. Yeah, I'm tempted to at least try and see how well Integrate runs on my PC. But I've also heard the PC port is, it can be weird. I think they've ironed some of that out by now, but I just Unreal Engine games on my PC, especially Unreal Engine 4, a little weird sometimes. It sounded like even with like the strongest PC you could throw at that game, there was still stuttering problems, but that was at launch. So you would think they'd fixed some of it by now. Not a lot of testers. Like five people testing this game. Well, my PC is getting pretty old too. Like, it's one of those things where I started building this PC in 2015 and it hasn't really had a major upgrade since then. But it's also the sort of thing where I play PC games and I'm surprised how well they still run. Like last year, Oh, I love that moment. When his sword gets caught on the door frame, that is such a good moment. But it's like I played Gears of War 5 last year with my cousin, and that's a, a somewhat recent game. That's like within the realm of when this first came out. And Gears of War 5 on my PC ran beautifully. Like that was a locked 60. But that was also, like, a last-gen game. And, you know, new console generation is usually when hardware starts bumping up on PC these days. Yep. Yeah, Cloud, sorry about your ass joke. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad how true this was to the original game. I'm glad how it did not take itself overly seriously, because again, that's another problem with like Advent Children and obviously Dirge of Cerberus and whatever is it. It both flanderizes these characters and it takes themselves way, way, way too seriously. They are extremely self-serious games. Which I think is why, like, Crisis Core gets remembered so well, because Zack in that game is a total dumbass. So even if it has gacked in it, at least it's got some amount of humor somewhere. You should watch Advent Children. It's an experience. I've, I've been in this, yeah, 
It is a collection of scenes played in order. Well, yeah, in an order, not necessarily in order. <laughs> Which version did you watch? Because these days it seems like all I can find is the director's cut or whatever that's like two hours long. Hell House. What a great moment. And what is with these cutscenes picking like the most basic dress for Cloud and Aerith? I had Cloud in like the purple dress and I think Aerith had like the best dress, the red sexy one. The one that she wears in the game, like in the original game. Your detour with the Saga Hin Prince. Ghost Train. Or the, the train graveyard with the ghosts, rather. Well, there is a part right there where Aerith is a little kid. That's how she talks to the ghost, if I remember right. kind of nice that they're running like a whole compilation of cutscenes at the end here because some of these I saw like two years ago. <laughs> Should have had my video capture software open. That would have let me pop a screenshot. I was just thinking like that that shot there with Jesse in front of the helicopter. I have that screenshot it on my computer here somewhere. Weird underground detour with the R Rangers mutant. That Persona character out of nowhere. Yes, I do remember the weird cut with Kate Sith being like, how could it come to this? Sorry, I, I said it the way I say it. And everything I did in April of last year. Yeah, Leslie was from a book too, wasn't he? On a whale, on the way to a smile or whatever. One of the kids are all right. That's right. That's where he's from. What is this song?
Wow, I forgot they like actually showed President Shinra being stabbed. Without like any blood, he just has like a weird black smoke coming out of his chest. And then what we did tonight. Fighting the big Kingdom Hearts boss. gonna kill me not being able to play Rebirth. Oh well. on how you view drawing blood there is definitely like this game is surprisingly bloodless and there is definitely blood in the original ps1 version you could say that that blood came from the mass massa moon mass, massa moon i never i never understood how to say that i had friends that would say masume which doesn't sound right either. Like that whole song in Final Fantasy VII is called Trail of Blood. Because you're following Sephiroth up to the top floor. The blood is like Genova that he ripped out of the machine or whatever. I didn't even push the screenshot button. It tried to take a screenshot because I unlocked an achievement. Ooh, hard difficulty. Items cannot be used? Ooh. Wreck it over your adventure. The bike minigame can now be skipped? I wasn't paying attention. Where's my paddle log? I want to see what that is. Enemy in. System? There it is. Oh, well, this is just... Chapter 14 Resolutions Witness. What does that mean? Didn't do any Colosseum challenges. I missed two odd jobs. Huh. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah, I ended up. Yeah, that's after she's kidnapped, right? I ended up meeting with. Remember who? I remember that from Chip and Ironicus's uh, Let's Play. They showed something completely different than what I saw. Cannot leave the main menu at this time. Oh, it wants me to jump to a chapter.
Well, I don't think I'm going to do that right now. ELC, what do we got? Oh, it's just the crap. <laughs> Let's go back to the title screen. All progress made since your last save will be lost. What does my last save look like? So that's right before the final boss. Yeah, I ran out of save slots, you can tell. Kind of weird that they even let you run out of save slots in this. Looks like the wall market. I guess I'll just save over the end game slot. Just okay. Now take me back to the title screen. There we go. That was a good game. Jeez, this came out four years ago? Oh, took a while. So the plan was that I would go eat dinner and then come back and stream something else. But it's been about two hours and I only have two viewers. I'm trying to decide if I actually want to come back or not. <laughs> Because what I was going to do is I was going to stream, I was going to put it up to a poll, honestly. Because there's like a few different options I was weighing. I go back to the Sonic Frontiers DLC that I never finished. I'm also nearing the end of Mother 3, I could stream that. I'm also on the final world of Super Mario Wonder, I could stream that. <laughs> Make it a night of endings. Or I could stream literally anything else. But I don't know. I might just go eat dinner and call it a night. Because I tweeted about this. I get free Fortnite currency for doing certain things within the game, and usually it's like very dependent on the day. Like they bring up daily missions and how many daily missions. You get changes day to day, and there's a lot tonight. Enjoy Pathfinder. So yeah, I think I'll just, I think I'll just wrap it up here. Call it a short one. I was feeling kind of sleepy before the stream anyway. So, thanks everyone who came out. I know my viewership was up and down constantly, as it usually is. That would be solved if I streamed on a more regular basis, but it's never been my style. <laughs> well, I'm just gonna, gonna call it here. Hope everyone out there watching this, either live or on the VOD, has a good night and a good day. Maybe, can I... Raid someone? I don't know who to raid. It doesn't look like there's really anyone worth raiding. Again, it's two people. <laughs> good night, folks. Have have a good one. And now, folks, it's time to say good night. We sincerely appreciate your patronage and hope we've succeeded in bringing you an enjoyable evening of entertainment. Please drive home carefully and come back again soon. Good night.